What's up guys, how are you today now? Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are very much doing okay. So let's all stay, uh, check out uh, David Doe and uh, Whiskey Matter. You know, David Doe and Whiskey decided to hang out and, uh, in a club yesterday and uh, I've already posted a video about that. Try as much as possible to watch it out, guys. But some people are trying to take credit over that meeting. They will do a whiskey meeting up. So people are trying to take credit. And one of our such persons is uh, Sam Clef. Sam Clef told say, Now he tell whiskey, me whiskey go hang out with David o. You know, eh, when I talk about Sam Clef, eh, eh, for people may they not know Sam Clef before, eh, go think say Sam Clef na blogger. But the local knows say Sam Clef has done so much for the Afrobeat culture. Sam Clef was formerly a well-known, renowned uh, producer that was so so important to the culture. But now he has decided to be a blogger. So yesterday, after the whole meeting and uh, the trend was going on about uh, David O and uh, Whiskey meeting up. Sam Clef decided to post something. He said, and I quote, Now me tell Whiskey Dio, make him try hang out with David o today and enlist him, my beloved guy, Whiskey and OBO. Well, however, this is the true story behind it. The only person responsible for that coming together of uh, Whiskey and David o, is DJ Tunes and David Doe was the one that uh, reached out to DJ Tunes and DJ Tunes took him to where Whiskey was hanging out and there's a video proof in fact I don't want to able to speak any further check this out right there. big shout out to everybody that was outside today I need to tell you a story so I was about to leave around maybe 9 30 trying to get some food by Good Beach and then I see OBO. I said, OBO, I got for you. I was good. OBO said, Yo, I'm looking for Wiz. But yeah, I said, Yo, I know where that nigga at. Let me take you right there. Pulled up on him. Big Wiz, OBO. A moment in history right there, man. You feel me? Just know when them two niggas align, there's going to be a lot of shit shaking in this culture. When these two niggas start touring, there's gonna be a lot of shit shaking in this culture. When these niggas start dropping music, dropping music. Well, that was the whole story. That was the real vibe towards whiskey and David Do meeting yesterday. So it's not DJ Tunes. DJ Tunes has decided to be a blogger. Man, like I've said before, eh? who see DJ Tunes? No good say DJ Tunes eh, was a former well known Nigeria producer. May produce a lot of whiskey hits then and a lot of other hit songs. He decided to allow controversies and uh, internet uh, love to just ruin his career. And now I think not everybody will want to able work with or associate himself with uh, Sam Clef again. So I think you should start looking at uh, people like. Uh, like Sass on the beat, still doing his, his thing. Other producer, they are still doing their thing. Why not still come back? Eh? Why not still retrace your step back to start being so important? Huh? Well, you cannot hide it. You cannot uh, take that for him. He was a pioneer, but now he's losing the respect. He's losing the respect. He loses the respect the culture have for him. Honestly, you need to retrace your step back. Tell my relax. You are not blogger. I love blogger to make all those controversies. But you know, say Twitter does the pain now. So everyone is trying to put on that trend that is going to get them verified or going to get their money at the end of the month. Now that is just the whole thing now. Well, wish them all the best though. Let them continue. And meanwhile, speaking of uh, whiskey and David though, let's talk about their collaboration. You know, Sam Clay talk about tour, touring and collaboration. David Doe has always been down when it comes to collaborating with Whiskey. David Doe don't talk as several for interview. Say he has reached out to Whiskey 
We try to do an album together, but Whiskey is the one shying away. But the recent interview he had, last interview he had about Whiskey, he said Whiskey reached out to him though and told him they should do a tour together. But now he's about to drop the Timeless album, which he has already dropped and is going on his own tour now. So we do not know if there will be anything next to that. If they're going to do songs, album, and uh, may eventually go on a tour, which is going to be the one of the biggest tour in Africa. Forget what people will talk. They might all say, okay, Whiskey and David are coming together because so kind of like a shy way, uh, border boy. You don't mean anything. You, 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 you. Have you seen them this December? They are not that bothered again. Whiskey is not even performing in December in Nigeria. He's not even bothered. Bona boy just recently come back to Lagos and he's not even bothered about performing in Abuja or in anywhere in, uh, in Nigeria. He said he wants to spend time with his grandma. It's like David Doe, you see him hustling like say no get. And now he's currently in Port Harcourt. So I would not even be as rich eh, as David Doe or Whiskey or, Bo or Bona boy. And I will be bothered about anybody or trying to keep any mind. This. It's about making money. And I think they should do it just for the culture and also make money, make enough breath. For themselves because it's an opportunity now they should do it before maybe in the next five years they are they are light not the dim you understand they should do it now they should do it don't allow anybody to say oh because upon all those kind of things forget all those ish do it now this is the best time to do it this is the best time to do it not waiting until later I think they should do it, and I'm really, really going to support it. If I've never attended any concert before, I swear on God, I, I might be pushed to attend David Doe and Whiskey concert if they are hosting anyone in Nigeria. Honestly, honestly. Then yeah, let's talk about uh, David Doe in River State. David Doe, I like the way he played his politics in River State. You know, the issue between the former governor, Wiki, and the present governor, Fubora. They are having very, very strong issues now. And Wiki is currently in Port Harcourt also. So when Davido landed, Davido went to greet Wiki first, the former governor, before going to visit the present governor, which people find a little bit so awkward and disrespectful to the present governor. If not maybe Davido, I will do exactly what he did by visiting Wiki first. You know why? When it comes to politics, Wiki see has upper hand and Fubora. And apart from that, guys, yeah. Apart from that, eh, Wiki was really, really close to David Doe and, uh, and he has assisted David Doe in one way or the other before. So that, that love, that, uh, that respect should, should still be there. And when you know that they are having issues, half than me, I know I'll go visit a footballer first. I'll visit a Wiki first before going to footballer. And Wiki, uh, Jeff, David Doe posted Wiki's video first. Before posting Fubora's video, so just to come out here and to let everybody know to see, I don't get hard for this kind of political fight at all. And I think that is absolutely great what David Do did. But if not maybe David Do, I will do the same. I don't want to get involved. I, I just have mutual respect. I just want to come here to perform and make my bread and move ahead. No, no need to get involved or visit only Wiki and not visit Fubora Abba. You don't get one kind of strong it. Allow them to fight themselves politically, peacefully within themselves, and just get the hell out of there. <laughs> like exactly what he did. And he's playing his politics really, 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 really well. And I like that, guys. So to end this video, let's talk about Ari Song versus KC. KC and Ari Song have had this issue for a long while now. For years. And now, for the first time, Harry Song is coming out to speak. In fact, he is begging. He said people should help him to beg KC. That KC should please eh, give him his royalties. What is due? What, what is due? Harry Song said, you all help me beg KC, him. I deserve what is rightfully mine. It's not her it's not hear him collecting all royalties hundred percent. Not fair at all. Don't insult him, please. Help him. Help me beg him. Then he also said, 
I am to beg you all to help me beg and follow, help me and follow Beg K, uh, Kingsley Okunkwa, known as Casey, to refund my money and release my songs. For more than several years now, he has been the one collecting 100% of my royalty from Reggae Blue, Baba for the Girl, Sam, Sam Kwe, Better Peking. All my big songs, he collected 100% of all my royalty. It's not fair. At least, he can take his percent and give me what is rightfully mine. I started this by begging. Now beg, I did beg. Oh. I know he likes to bully. He's the powerful mind. Help me beg him. These songs are mine. He should at least be fair to give me what is rightfully mine. May God not let us walk and another man just be reaping our hard hand sweet in Jesus' name. That's coming from my Harrison. And you know, and I don't like grown men calling out people. It's good though they call out or because these people know they hear what. But at the same time, go to court. Go to court. The only reason why Harrison should be afraid to go to court is when he already signed a deal. Because this artist said, eh, Whenever they are trying to come into the light, they can sign any ridiculous deal. Deal that will trap them for life. Please, please, no, they sign your yeah, yeah, deals again. Don't sign deals that will trap you for life. So, Harrison, I will applaud you, I will ask you, beg you, even beg you to go to court. Go to court. If you know you are right that uh, KC is stealing your money, hmm? go to court. It's as easy as that. Go to court, please. Proceed to court. And Casey, Casey might have a backup, so I don't want to blast Casey at all. Because these young musicians, eh, they can sign any nonsense day in order to get, to get that fame. But later on, they will start regretting it. And then they will be like, oh, the boss should have had human sympathy. They are trying to make money. There's no human sympathy in them. So you have to be careful on what you are signing. Don't sign your life away. Hmm? Huh?